When Russia invaded Ukraine and later attacked civilian infrastructure, the Tornishta was quick to label their actions genocide. On Twitter, he wrote that Russia's horrific attack on a railway station was, quote, further evidence of the barbaric nature of Russia's war on Ukraine. This is genocide and those responsible must be held to account. The Russians, of course, were rightly held to account for their brutal invasion of Ukraine. To name just some of the serious consequences that flowed from that invasion. Trade sanctions were almost immediately put in place across the Western world. Travel visas were cancelled and bank accounts were frozen. Israel has faced none of those consequences. Quite the opposite. We have the Americans rushing to provide them with an infinite supply of bombs to drop on Palestinian civilians. And Germany claiming their attacks are proportionate and in line with international humanitarian law. Even the language that this government uses about it is different. I've searched and can't find any reference to the Tornish to describing the slaughter in Gaza as genocide like he did about Ukraine. If this isn't a blatant double standard, can you, Minister, in your reply, explain the discrepancy? The government talks about holding Israeli government to account, but has failed at every single opportunity to do so. You won't support South Africa at the International Court of Justice. You won't lobby for economic sanctions at an EU level. You won't refer a case to the International Criminal Court. You won't withdraw the diplomatic status of the ambassador and you won't pass the Occupied Territories Bill or the Illegal Israeli Settlement Divestment Bill. Minister, words are not enough. The government not only should act, it has a legal obligation to act under the Genocide Convention and you're refusing to do so. Instead, you're erasing our motion with your amendment. And I have to say, the government should have at least had the courage of its convictions and just voted against it. I think it's a disgrace that we're sitting on the fence, that we're watching this happen, not taking action. And the people out there who want action from the government on this can see straight through your efforts to avoid taking action.